Hello everybody, you know what it is, you know who it is, Dog Dad 714 here for another video. I hope everyone is doing good today. It is so hot out here that it just is, it's such a nice, um, a nice change because it has been really, really cold these last few days. Look at that little butt. Preston, Preston, say here there. Oh, you better be careful up here, boy. So, like I was saying, it is so hot today. Oh, he does not want to be held. He wants to run around. Oh, what a great shot of my babies. Okay, you can go ahead and tear up those ear pods. Tear him up, boy. Tear him up. Tear him up, boy. Tear him up. Aha! <laughs> Honestly, I'll be honest. Ever since I got some cosmetic work done, I'm uh, feeling better. My self-esteem went from being, like, really, really low to, like, just, like, up a little bit. So things are going good. And you know, life is always good when you have a new puppy in your family. Guys, it's probably sad. You're going to hear me talk about this puppy so much. But honestly, like, what is life? Like, life is only puppies. Like, having a new puppy is the only joy that I find in life right now. Sad? Sure. True? Definitely. Preston, my Mimi. Oh, Prada, watch out, baby. Someone actually messaged me and said that I was being mean to Prada in my last video. So I just wanted to say, Prada, I am really sorry. If I was mean to you, I was, I'm really sorry. And I hope you can forgive me. Okay? I love you. And Preston, inevitably... Well, I don't want to say inevitably as if Prada's put on a back burner. But, you know, it's like when you have a new baby, all of your attention goes to the new baby. Can you guys see why I had to have him? <laughs> Look at that. Preston? Talk about a delicious chicken nugget. <sighs> Prada, the people back home can't see us. Watch out, buckaroo. Watch out. Guys, um, oh no, Prada, that's what we're not gonna do. What we're not gonna do is start screaming. Okay. So let's see what's going on. First and foremost, I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for enjoying my last puppy videos. I've gotten a bunch of messages from you guys and I, that always makes me happy. When I check my messages on Instagram and I see you guys messaging me, I'm like, I'm like, hey girl, you're in Nigeria? You're in Nigeria and you're messaging me? I, that's why I will always love YouTube because there's people from all around the world watching the platform, not even just me, just like the platform. Like there's people all over the world watching YouTube and, you know, being able to create content, you know, YouTube is truly amazing. And I can see why it's taking over like cable and television and stuff like that, because the possibilities are endless and creators can be you know, have a certain level of skill when it comes to editing and they're better now than Nickelodeon. Um, my editing sucks, guys. As you could tell, I don't really even like to edit. Um, if I could have it my way, I would just record and upload because that's kind of raw and real, but there is some editing that I do deem necessary and sometimes there's things you gotta cut out. So you gotta chop, chop, chop that. Um, 
Yikes, I hope I don't regret this, but I'm just letting Preston destroy these. Preston, you need a sponsorship. You need a sponsorship. Guys, I kind of want to plug a few things really quick. Um, and I haven't really talked about it much because I'm not trying to jinx anything because I feel like that often happens to me. If I talk about something too early, sure enough, it doesn't happen. But things are already done. There's things put in place, orders already made, things already purchased to make legality happen, legal work, yada, 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 the back page of things, um, etc. Ever since I I was like 13 I've been trying to make clothing lines and now that I'm a full-grown adult I know the logistics and I can actually do what I want to do and what I need to do to make things happen I remember being 13 years old and I tried to create a clothing line called insanity in the city insanity in the city like it's cute. Like, I really was onto something. I tried to create a brand called Insanity in the City, and it was inspired by a rock band at the time, Chiodos. Shout out to Chiodos. And um, they had a song called Intensity in Ten Cities. Intensity in Ten Cities. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. I love that. How clever. And so I immediately kind of ran with it and I was like, insanity in the city. I'm in the San Francisco Peninsula. Insanity in the city. And um, I was 13. So obviously things didn't happen. I didn't even have money to purchase things, but I sure was online building websites and putting things together creating um creating clothing and stuff like that and um obviously because i was 13 and had zero funding that wasn't able to happen but um you know moving forward i launched a clothing line again called brq okay which was my old brand brq okay i launched some shirts of an iconic um design and i sold some but this was when i was in the middle of a worldwide voyage and i was in asia trying to sell clothing and all of this crazy stuff and it wasn't very practical rewind to now and i know what the fuck I'm doing y'all I up here girl there's some there's some there's some uh things there's some things happening brookdalton.com I'm so excited things are going to be launching soon also while we are on the topic of business let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room giraffe croissants so Giraffe Croissants is a um, restaurant that I am creating. Things are in the works. Um, and I don't want to say too much about it because it's truly iconic and I want to leave some things to be a surprise. But let's just say the world's longest croissants are happening hence giraffe croissant it's in reference to a giraffe neck safari vibes girl if you're not excited then i don't know what's wrong with you but giraffe croissants is happening and i can't even explain like how exciting that is you know so the world's longest croissants all espresso beverages coffee everything you know like gourmet coffee espresso beverages shit's going down y'all shit is going down um other than that i have my new puppy i have things coming on amazon right now to make sure he stays super duper warm and let's talk about how um big he is so Preston is obviously a teacup Pomeranian. He will be growing, but not that much. So he's going to be staying small. So I know that in previous videos, I mentioned how Preston is Prada's biological brother. This is true, but I do want to make sure it's clear that Prada has a different mom. Prada's mom is... Prada's mom is a bad bitch, literally. Um, 
Preston's mom is really, really small. So Preston is going to stay super small. Don't get me wrong. Prada is very small too, aren't you, baby? Prada is very, very small. I mean, he's a little guy. Um, but Preston is going to be even smaller than him. And um, not like that matters, you know? I, I'm not the type of person that's just like, oh my God, I need the smallest. No, 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 no. I just, I enjoy small dogs because I live in a tiny home. And having tiny animals is just kind of fitting. Oh, Preston, you're getting crazy. Okay, guys, I'm going to sign off because the, because the weather is so nice. We need to go running. So um, I'm going to gather the family together and we are going to hit the road. Um, but let me say something really quick. 94% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you enjoy Pomeranians and you enjoyed this video, if you even made it to this point of the video, I love you. Um, uh, Comment a little heart if you made it this far, because I'm curious how many people actually watch my entire videos. But 94% of my viewers are not subscribed, so please do me a favor, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified right away. Also, my um, links to my social media are going to be in the description box. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Me and all of my babies are going to be signing out now. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, that's messed up. He's jealous.